to another YouTube video. So, as you can obviously tell by the title, I thought I would do a glow up with me after I've been sick vlog. Oh my god, my bad now, which is what we're going to get fixed. Um, I have a few things over the next two days that I'm, I guess, like doing self caring, making myself feel better. I'm going to Sydney on Wednesday for a shoot. And I've been sick for like the last five, four or five days. Still kind of am sick, but it's Monday, so I have to pull myself out of it. And I just thought, I keep getting asked to do a vlog and you guys know how I feel about YouTube and my relationship with it. So I'm going to vlog this. It's a challenge. I don't know why it's such a challenge for me to like, put my I feel like I'm just such a perfectionist it's my Virgo moon that I have an idea of what I want my video to come out like or like I don't know I just I'm worried that it's never good enough or that I could do it better if I tried again but anyway she's a work in progress um you're probably wondering why I'm all like I don't look sick this is probably not the way to start a glow up video you'd expect me to look sick but this is the first time I have gotten myself to look somewhat alive in the last five days so also I'm filming on my phone because I can't find my vlogging camera anywhere and I was so excited to pick up my vlogging camera I feel like it really gets me in the mood but I think Harry might have it with him at boxing so I will when he gets back I will continue this vlog on the camera so sorry about the iPhone quality in advance first up this morning we are going to get my nails fixed I don't even want to talk about it. It broke like two days ago. So I, this is not going to be my second time getting Biab gel and I have never really had my nails done like other than when I was like 13 and I got acrylics once, which don't ever do. So Biab gel is like a lot healthier than like shellac and SNS, I think. So they're my actual nails. It's just like a thick gel that goes on top to save them from breaking and it actually makes your nails healthier because they stay stronger. It makes them stronger. So first up, we have my, my nails this morning at 11. And then I was meant to have a facial later, but they couldn't book me in for this afternoon. So I'm just going to do my at-home, my own at-home facial. And I have most of the stuff that we do at the skin clinic. I just don't have um, the laser genesis machine, which I've been getting. So we'll do that later. And then tomorrow I have a haircut, a hair appointment. And I also want to whiten my teeth, do a fake tan for my shoot on Wednesday. So yeah, stay tuned for all of that. Okay, this is the fit for getting my nails done. I've been really loving wearing my platform Ugg boots when I just want to be comfortable. This top's from Skims. I'm wearing my Crop Shop bra underneath and Crop Shop leggings. And my cutie Prada bag. I just finished up <gasps> I love them they look so cute I got a bit more pinker this time than last time and they look so cute wait let me see if I can fix that light me for the next two weeks I love them I'll show you in better light the color is honestly stunning it's called silk this color and the last time I went why is it not focusing Last time I went, um, I got cashmere, but I think I like this better so far. Okay, it is shower time. So basically, I'm going to do my own at-home mini facial because I couldn't get into my clinic this afternoon. I have, like, a lot of the products that they basically use on me there. I just don't have, like, any of the machines or stuff. So it's obviously not going to be a skin clinic um, level of facial, but... I think it still really helps my skin and gets the job done when I don't have time or I can't get into my salon. Skin clinic salons? I don't know. But yeah, so basically I'm going to have a shower now, cleanse my skin, and then when I get out I'll show you 
what I kind of do for my at home facial. So yeah, I'll be back. Okay, we are out of the shower. We are cleansed. We are clean. So now I will go in with my Aspect Fruit Enzyme Mask. I would say this is more of like a gentle exfoliation. I feel like some of the exfoliations you can do out there are a bit too harsh. Um, well, for me personally. So, so I personally love this one. Basically, it's like you can leave it on like as a mask, as a like exfoliation, or you can like massage it in, which is what I do. And the product peels off as well as your dead skin cells. So use. Oh, oh my God! Did you guys see that? It just sprayed everywhere. Because I haven't opened it in, in, in ages and I think it's been on the plane. Oopsies. Okay, so basically it starts off as a gel and then it liquefies. So you have to put it on dry skin. I use like a big pea size amount. It's like jelly. But I massage it all over and you can feel it like turn into a liquid. And then... Once it's like turned into the liquid, it'll start like peeling off, but I'll show you guys when it's doing that. You kind of have to massage it for like a little bit. I love this especially for my nose because I feel like my nose is like my problem area when it comes to like build up. Because like I always get heaps of blackheads and like texture on my nose, so I feel like it's really good. Okay, I can feel it starting to peel. Let's see if I can get you guys to see it. I don't know if you can see all that, but it, it's it's coming off. See? All like those bits. And it's like really satisfying knowing that you're getting like a layer of dense dead skin off. Okay, so now I'm just gonna rinse this off with cold water. Okay, now we're all rinsed off. Oh my god, see the shine. I love when it, my forehead shines like it's squeaky clean. <laughs> Um, okay, next step is my LED mask from Current Body, which I've showed on my YouTube before, so some of you might remember. So, I'm gonna go sit on the couch or on my bed and do that mask. And I do it for, I do it two rounds, so like the, it goes for 10 minutes, so I'll do it for 20 minutes. Okay, this is my mask. I'm going to pop it on, it's portable. Okay, so once I've wiped it down, I'll just pop it on. You can just strap it around at the back. It's honestly so terrifying. And then it comes with this little thing and it's portable so you can like tuck it in and like walk around or like put it somewhere and walk around and do stuff with it. And I turn it on. And so I'll <laughs> I can't I can't get over this every time. So I'll leave this on for 20 minutes so it'll just automatically turn off after 10 and then I click the button again. Um, I'm gonna go lay down on my phone and I'll be back for the next step when this is done <laughs> see ya okay the mask is off look at the marks it made on my nose <laughs> the last step is a face mask so I use these I don't know how to pronounce that these ones from my skin clinic but basically it's a rejuvenating peptide gel mask and I love them. I think that they are great and they're everything that I need. Hydrating, cooling, soothing, all the things. So we'll put her on. This one isn't like the cutest looking, but it's the cutest when it's off and your skin's glowing. Why does it look like I had a nose gel when I put like nose tape on? Okay, so, all right, she's all on. Now I'll leave this on for like 30 minutes. I just kind of leave it on until it feels like sort of dried out and then I'll come back and just put on all my skincare. And that's basically it for my at home facial it's so nice it just feels so nice to do some self-care and yeah put like the, the rest of the stuff down my neck 
I'm not gonna take you through my products after, so I'm just gonna stop this now, but I'll see you guys tomorrow for my hair appointment. Yeah, good night. Hi guys, it is Tuesday. It's almost time for me to leave for my hair appointment this afternoon. What I usually get at my hair appointment, because I know that you guys will ask, is honestly just a trim. She does a little bit of framing around my face, depending on what I'm feeling. And then I'm pretty sure I have one layer because I have curly hair and it makes my curls sit a little bit nicer. So I'm going to get this mop fixed. And yeah, I also go to the studio upstairs in Burley on the Gold Coast, if you guys were wondering. Um, and I see Dana. She has been doing my hair for like four or five years now and she's honestly the best cutter. Um, I don't trust my hair with anyone else and when I have had my hair done by other people It's just never the same. She just really knows my hair and like the way that it sits and she's just so good at what she does. So yeah I'll see you at the hair salon For phase three of our glow up I'm feeling a little bit better today, but I still have a cough there and like <clears throat> Every time I wake up in the morning my throat's a bit shit, but we're, we're on the mend. Also, does it bother you, this is a random question, but does it bother you when people look at the viewfinder? Because I never look at the camera, which is like lower. Um, I always look at myself and I don't know if that's like, I shouldn't do that. I should look at, oh my God, the kitchen is a pigsty and I don't want to show you that. So let's just pretend I didn't, you guys didn't see that. Um, but yeah, does it, is, is it annoying when people look at themselves instead of that? This feels so unnatural for me to stare at like something that's like not moving or anything. Anyway, that's my ramble over. Let's go get this hair fixed. Shall we? Shall we? One last thing is my outfit is my jacket is Lioness and it's so cute. I love her. This is my crop shop um, singlet from my last collection and then these are princess Polly and I'm wearing my Uggs again this is the fit Okay, I'm out of the hair salon. Um, just gotta freshen up. She told me that there's a lot more breakage happening on my right side. I'm kind of annoyed because my hair has like taken a turn for the worst and it's never been this damaged, this thin and this easily breakable. Like it's, the breakage is just so bad. I've been having to heat style it so much. Um, but I don't know what's going on. I keep looking back at like old videos and old photos of my hair and it's it was just so much thicker and so much healthier looking and now it's like it's just thinning and anyway, we were talking about the rosemary water thing on TikTok and I'm going to try that rosemary water and rosemary oil on my scalp as well as castor oil um, as like a pre-shampoo like treatment on my scalp. Also want to get one of those scalp massages, but yeah, leave your tips below if you have any about hair growth, hair health. I need all the tips I can get. I am really sad. It's got me like really, really sad because, you know, I love, I love my hair and I really don't want it to be dying and getting worse as I get older. 
so yeah but she's fresh and she's healthy now definitely could have cut off more but I have a shoot in Sydney in two days so I want it to be long but yeah let me know if you have any recommendations for hair health tips I would love to know everything okay so the next part of my glow up is going to be a fake tan and I'm only fake tanning because I have a shoot tomorrow if I don't need to fake tan I won't but it is winter here in Australia so you girl isn't looking sun-kissed and we need to look sun-kissed so this isn't sponsored by the way I always use loving tan it's like the only fake tan that I've tried and it's just never let me down I feel like it's got like a really nice olive undertone for the sake of the video oh. for the sake of the video I just put a bikini on so that I can show you guys a little bit of my tanning routine I always personally start with my arms and depending on how dark I am like my skin is I'll choose whether or not I want to do two layers or one but I'm gonna do two this time because I am a pale girly at the moment I've never faked hair with a bikini on, so this is a first. Okay, because this is like, I need to focus and like make sure this looks good because I'm doing for a photo shoot. I'm going to finish it quickly off camera and I'll come back and show you when I've completed it. But look at the difference already. She's tan. She looks like she's been basking in the Europe sun, but she hasn't. Honestly, there's no better feeling than being tan and doing a fresh tan. I'm going to leave this on. It's a two hour express, but I'm going to leave it on for as long as I can. So before I have to leave. So maybe two and a half, three hours if I can, um, just because I want it to be extra dark. And then when I go on the flight this afternoon and overnight, it will develop so that it's in the morning for my shoot tomorrow. So yeah, that's my tanning done. As you might have just picked up on, I didn't film yesterday at my shoot because it was too much going on and I had to focus on that. So I just did my makeup, fixed up my hair, I'm still in my pyjamas, but I am going to lunch. So I thought I would finish up the vlog here with my outfit, my hair and makeup, my tan, my nails, um, my haircut, everything in the glove video. So I'll pick an outfit, I'll show you what I'm wearing and then yeah. That's going to be our final transformation for the glow up. Okay, so outfit's on. It's a really, really casual outfit, but we're only going to a surf club for lunch. So this is the final result of the glow up. And I'm feeling a little bit better today, sickness wise. Want to get it? Say hi. Oh. Hi. I'm going to close off the vlog here, but thank you so much for watching my glow up with me after being sick. Oh, my camera died, so I'm just finishing up it off here. But thank you guys for watching. I love you all so much. I'll see you in the next video.